Hey, it's Rob Snow. And it's Monday during quarantine. It's raining. It's a little cold out. The shad really are not going to be biting this week. My next video was going to be how to tie this little guy. We'll do that in a couple hours. I am currently making baguettes, so I've got some time. Got a little bit of yeast and dry dough in my hands. So let's learn in this episode how to tie a leader for shad flies or shad fly fishing. It's a frequently asked question from clients. I see it on forums, blogs, TPFR a lot. So let's film how to tie this. The first thing you're going to need is a spool with your preferred sinking line. At the end of this, I've taken 10 pound monofilament, nail knotted three sections on, and then UV cured over it with a loop. Next up, you're going to need some amnesia orange, 40 pound. And then I've got here my little kit of spools. 30, 20, 14, 12, 10. Don't need the 30. We're going to use some 20 pound Berkeley Vanish. We'll take out 14. I don't know if I'm going to use it. And then we're going to have 10 pound as the dropper. One thing you can do on these since the papers get destroyed when they're wet, take white out and write the number of poundage on the back. These fall out all the time, but I can't live without them. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got our loop the end and then we're going to tie in a good stretch about two and a half to three feet of amnesia 40 pound the reason i'm using amnesia instead of just a clear leader is my clients don't know how long their sink tips are because they're all black so when you see this come up from the depths you know it's time to roll cast back into the water so what i'm going to do here is just put in a perfection loop i'm not going to show how to tie actual knots on this tutorial, that's another tutorial that's about 10 years old. And I'm gonna cut it. So I've got one loop, I've got my other loop. Your leaders do not need to be long because you want them to sink faster. The whole leader is gonna be maybe seven or eight feet with the amnesia at the most. All right, so now I've got this knotted on there. Let's uh, just leave this bottom end blank. I'm going to take 20 pound and connect it. Now I do have my knot tying kit here. This goes in my gear bag. 10 pound line, UV curing goop, and a knot tying tool. So I can make those three nail knots on the screen if I have to, if they break. You can absolutely do a perfection loop here to connect to your leader. I'm going to go ahead and use 20 pound. I'm only going to grab a little bit that much. So I'm going to take my 20 pound Berkeley Vanish. I'm going to take my 40 pound and I'm going to tie a blood knot. Okay. There's your blood knot. We're going to cut these there. So now we have Sinking line, loop to loop, blood knot, 20 pound, and you know what, we'll tie our first fly to this. In this rig, it's always going to be a shad jig first. And Marshall asked on YouTube if I ever do shad nom nom or other fly first. Uh, I will do that more when we're fishing for stripers or in shallower water, but if I need this to sink down, fast it's gonna be the jig i just used an improved clinch knot to that this barb would then be smashed and i will take a piece of 10 pound a little bit longer 18 pounds i got a broken canine so i can bite my line my neighbor beth would say don't do that because she works on people's teeth so i'm gonna take my snow white damsel it's always gonna be the dropper flying a dropper rig and I'm going to tie an improved clinch knot onto it. It's going to look like this. You know, see that? See that tag end there? Just leave it. It doesn't matter. So now I've got this long piece of 10 pound. I am going to make a loop on it. Twist it a couple times. And that is how you form a perfection loop on your hand to then knot onto your jig. So we're gonna take this, 
The bar will be smashed, but the smashing will still keep this on pull. See that tag end right there? Yeah, I'm just going to leave that on. Why am I going to cut that and drop it on the ground at Chain Bridge? So, here's your full shad leader. You're going to take sinking line, loop to loop, amnesia, 40 pounds, blood knot, 20 pounds, improved clinch knot to a jig on the bend, uh, improved clinch knot to 10 pound to a snow white damsel. And that is my rig for catching shad on the fly. Now, why are we using 20 pound here? There's always something bigger every year. Every season, something nearly spools us. So we're always prepared. There are 80 pound catfish, and who knows what else down there at Chain Bridge. Not spotty. You see that dumb fish right there? God, that fish is dumb. He just sits there and bounces into the corner all day. But that's a little fish. There are fish this big at Chain Bridge. And you might be able to land them with this. Sure, you're going to catch a log and have to break off, but I'd rather lose a couple of flies and get the potential to catch something big. So next up is going to be a dirty water articulated bass fly. Any other questions you might have for shad rigging, please let me know. This is what it looks like. And I tie a lot of these. We just shipped out four fly orders for the shad run, so let me know. I just tied up a whole bunch more. Tied these up earlier. So I am still working hard. Shoot me an email on rob at robsnowway.com. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Thank you.